All right, why do we need open communication? Okay, first things first, we need open communication because we're already deeply, strongly connected. Before I even started putting up videos talking to you, talking to you directly, we already had a very strong connection. And I mean, I don't, even, I don't have to explain that to you. Then, once I started talking to you directly on YouTube, then I noticed that things changed. Your heart opened up and we became like at least five times more connected. And I've been seeing it tremendously in the last few days. Like you, you really, you, you truly in your heart want to be with me and I want to be with you. And the, whatever's going on with the gang stalking and stuff, that's really not the major issue. The major issue is you have some doubt. There's some doubt you have about speaking your heart and about how others around you will view you. Like I said, you follow your heart, you can't go wrong. But what's happening is, well, from what I perceive, people are showing you showing you reasons why you should doubt it, all the reasons why it'll go wrong if you follow your heart. And your heart can't lead you anywhere wrong. The only thing anybody else can offer you at this point is a substitute. They'll say, look, you can do this, and you can do this, and you can have this, and these are the reasons why you shouldn't talk to JR. Now, none of that is authentic, and you know in your heart it's not, because if you, if you didn't, you wouldn't have all this time struggling with it. And so, I mean, you know, it's obvious, it's obvious that there's a great love between us, and it's just, you know, the dynamic between us keeping us from communicating is slowly thinning out, it's slowly coming down. I noticed that tremendously in the last couple days. A week ago, I wouldn't have been able to say any of this stuff. I mean, just online, too. You know, just coming on the internet and talking to you directly, I wouldn't be able to say anything like that. And it, just look at how far things have come in the last week, opposed to like two, three weeks ago. And so it's coming to the point to where it's going to be time for us to speak. And when two people, you know, when two people, when two people are sharing something like that, they should be able to. And that's all part of our theme. That's what our theme is, is me and you have been wanting to be together for a long time, and there's just something there keeping us, and one of us is going to have to take that step. Now, I really, it's really not my place to do it. It's really in your hands at this point. It was in my hands a few years ago, but we kind of switched roles, and now it's become in your hands as to everything that, you know, the scenario that's going on, and so all I can do is say, you know, all I can do is... is Tell you no matter what, you, you know, you know, I love you. This is where your heart is. Um, you know, it'll always be here. It's never. I'm not trying to rush you into doing anything. It'll never. It'll never go away. I'll, I'll always have that for you. But as an adult, you know, you're an adult, young adult, you know, 21 or whatever. People are going to try to convince you not to do it, and that's fine too. Everybody should have their say so. Your family should have their say so in it. But anybody else, they're not speaking to your heart. They're just giving you reasons why you shouldn't be able to do what your heart's telling you to do. And the thing about that is this, is a lot of what's going on right now, a lot of these things and a lot of these people aren't going to be here for you in five years, ten years, twenty years. What I'm offering you is like a lifetime of love. And like I said, this is much bigger than gang stalking. The gang stalking thing has nothing to do with it. This is something that we've both been going through over and over and over again. And so back in the winter time. It was the same thing, where they wanted you to do the same type of stuff, and you didn't want to do it then, but it was a different scenario back then. Now the scenario has changed to the point to where it's very, very possible for us to be together. It's very possible. From, from, from what I see, all we have to have is open communication and be able to talk. And as I give, as I give you energy and as, as I give you love, it's expanding your heart. And I see that your voice is, you've been able to speak up. You, before, back in the wintertime, you weren't speaking up. You weren't saying, I won't do this. I can't do this. I don't want to do this. Maybe you were a little bit, but not nearly to the extent you are now. Now, after I've started talking to you directly, we've been, we've been sort of balancing energy off each other. When two people get, care greatly for each other, that's what happens. And so, as, as this energy reaches you, you're making a point to say, I don't want to do this. I can't do this and people are continuing to pressure you, what are they going to get out of it? What they're going to get out of it is momentary. They're going to get, they're going to be able to, you know, hang out with you and drive around with you, or they're going to get, they're going to get some little extra money or something, or they're, 
they're not going to, they're, what, what their position is is different than your position. Your position is, is you're, you're in a situation where you're talking, where, where you want to have the love that you want for the rest of your life. Their position, it, it has nothing to do with that. Their position is they're giving you, you know, their advice on what you should do or not do. You're the one, you're the one whose life it is. It's your life. They're not going to be here. Well, your family will. Your family will. But a lot of other people, they're not going to be here for you. This is just something, this is just probably, at the most, it's probably just a summer thing. Just like in the wintertime, you know, the gang stalking program, all these different people I've seen you, it's just momentary. What you're looking for is to be loved and appreciated for the rest of your life. And so that's what I'm offering you. And I think we're both at a point now where we can do that openly. Like I said, you know, I think we both cleared, in the last couple of weeks, we processed through enough energy and enough limitations and enough doubt to be able to make it possible. And so that's, that's all this is, open communication. That's all it is. All it is, all it is, is, is you coming and knocking on my door or seeing me outside walking down the street and walking up to me or pulling up in a car. <laughs> or even eat, you can, you can call me, whatever you want. That's all it is. It's just open communication. And the people around you, what they're noticing is, I have the greatest effect on you. I don't, I don't even, I don't even talk, we don't, we don't, we're not even have open communication. Even before I started talking to you directly on YouTube, I had a tremendous uh, influence on you. I had tremendous influence on you. Because I seen when you went over that house right there, this was back, way back before I even started really paying attention. Like, I was just like, you know, whatever. But you still couldn't do stuff. They brought you to the house right there. You got out of the car. You were with some tall guy with dark hair. You got out of the car, and you just couldn't do it. You jumped right back in the car. I've seen you stop cars in the street. You know, I've seen you duck down and jump, jump down in your seat. You know, I've seen you, I've seen you turn ghosts. I've seen you do a number of things. And it's, and it's obvious that this just isn't in you. It's just not in you. What's in you is the love that me and you want to share with each other. That, that's what it is. The love that we want to share with each other, that's what's in you. And others around you are trying to suppress that and give you nothing but doubt. So you can't, so to make you feel that you can't speak up for what you want. So just let, the, just, just, just follow your heart. You can't go wrong following your heart. And don't have any doubt. Because what I'm trying to do with you right now is we're not able to communicate openly. We weren't able to communicate openly today. So I'm trying to build trust with you and let you know. If you take that step, you know, I'll be here to catch you. There's nothing you have to worry about. Nobody's going to hurt you. No one's going to do anything to you. If you're, if you want what love you want and what happiness you want, all you got to do is speak your heart. And nothing's going to, nothing, no one's going to be able to do anything to you. If anybody else truly loves you, it won't matter. It, they won't think any less of you. If they, if somebody truly cares about you and truly loves you, they would never think any less of you of you following your own heart. And so that's why we need open communication. <laughs> because everything else is just inauthentic. It doesn't make any sense. The, the reason, the reasons, the reasons for why somebody, the reasons for why we shouldn't be able to talk are very minimal compared to the reasons why we should. We should be able to talk because we both greatly want to express love with each other. We should be able to talk because we have a deep theme and we want open communication. You know, and <laughs> you want to follow your heart. I do. So th those are the reasons why we should talk. The reasons why we shouldn't talk are, are very small compared to that, and they're not going to be there in five, ten years. This, the, 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 the these people, these things, they're not going to be there for you. What I have for you is going to be there in five or ten years, and so I'm just giving you that. I'm just, I'm just continually, I'm just continually, um, you know, letting you know that I love you and I appreciate you. And I think about you all the time. I know that's important to you. I know that's really important to you, and. From my perception, I see it as what I have to offer you truly want. And so that's where I'm coming from. So just, when, you know, I'm telling you, just follow your heart. And when you're ready, take that step and I'll be there for you. All right.